video is going to show you how to locate and use the Merck Index. First, we'll start by locating the Merck Index, a book in the library, by using the library catalog. Beginning at the library homepage, you'll see embedded in the page a search box for the library catalog. Here we'll type in the title of the book we're looking for and click search. We'll click on the record for Merck Index and scroll down to the section entitled Find a Copy in the Library. We can see here that the Pepperdine Libraries has several copies of the Merck Index. One is located at the West LA Graduate Campus Library and the others are held at the Library Hub at TAC. The Hub at TAC has multiple editions of the Merck Index, 1996, 2001, 2006, and 2013. To use the Merck Index for your chemistry lab assignment, you'll note the location information, the Hub at TAC, and the call number, rs51.m4. This information will allow you to find the Merck Index in the library. If you need help once you've reached the Hub, don't hesitate to ask a librarian or any of the library staff you see there. Now that we located the Merck Index in the Library Hub, I'll show you how to use it. The Merck Index is a reference book that is periodically published and updated. The most recent edition is the 15th, which was published in 2013. For your lab assignment, try locating your drug in the most recent edition of the Merck Index, but note that this edition might not necessarily have the LD50 value for your particular drug. If you're unable to locate the LD50 for your drug in the 2013 edition, try looking in the 1996, 2001, or 2006 editions. So back to the book. Don't try to locate your drug in the main portion of the book, right here. Rather, you'll need to start first by looking up your drug in the named index. And so I'm going to draw your attention to these tabs along the side in the back of the book. There are six tabs, one at the very bottom right here will take you to the name index. So here's the little tab. This will open up the book to the beginning of the name index. The name index is arranged alphabetically. We're going to use Prozac as our example to look for in the Merck index. And here you'll see we've located Prozac in the name index and it says C4217. As a side note, you'll see in brackets behind Prozac the word Lily. This refers to one of the manufacturers of the drug, the one associated with the trademark for Prozac. There may be and probably are multiple manufacturers for the drugs in your lab assignment. Back to the entry number. 4217 refers to the entry number for the drug. That is not the same as the page number. This can be confusing because both the entry numbers and the page numbers are listed on each page. This should, make a dis this should make the distinction a little bit more clear. So at the top you'll see the entry numbers, and down here you'll see the page numbers. So just make sure you're looking up at the entry section portion. You may have noticed from this entry that it's full of information and it appear to be kind of crammed together and perhaps a little bit difficult to decipher at a first look. The next thing I want to show you is um, at the front of the Merck Index, is an annotated example of an entry showing you, for example, what the chemical abstract's name is, the molecular formula, the molecular weight, the structure, the therapeutic category, and so forth. If you get confused using the Merck Index or any other reference book, try looking in the front of the book for a guide or help page. So back to entry 4217. You'll see that Prozac is located under the hydrochloride derivative of the title compound. Listed here is the LD50. There are two values given for the LD50, one for rats and one for mice. Your drug may only have an LD50 for mice. As you cal calculate the lethal dose for a 150 pound human, make sure that you're clear which value you are using. I hope this has helped, but if you uh, need further assistance, please don't hesitate to ask.